Hey guys, back to the back to the seriousness of the matter, which is whatever happened to this little child, the sister, the youngest sister of this poor little boy right here. And the, here's the father, Don Wells, and uh, the little five-year-old turning six, turned six-year-old Summer Moon Utah Wells, who disappeared from her mother's care at their own home mysteriously within two minutes with a long driveway magically disappeared from the mother's care magically weirdly strangely on a day when i mean uh, from parents who ha are known to have an anger issue both of them they're known to have criminal records they're known to um be violent and, and overly aggressive and mean to their own children. Their, she, the mother, was kicked out of a Walmart for being abusive to her children and nobody could stand it. Then she threatened to bomb the place. Then they kicked her out. But they don't arrest her. They never arrest her. She never gets arrested. And Dawn, Dawn, this guy, he barely gets arrested. Finally, finally, they throw him in jail for DUI and... Um, well, he also had a firearm and, oh, he forgot to do the thing, but it, they got to do something to someone or the public's going to go crazy. So Dawn's going to take the hit. Dawn. Ta Dawn's going to take a little small hit, but not too bad. It's just a, a, first of all, Dawn drives drunk. DUI doesn't go to jail. Dad, he does it again. He drives drunk because his daughter went missing. But they don't put him in jail. He follows him home so he can go home and sleep it off in the comfort of his own bed. Because we don't want Dawn, who calls his children fuck butts. Sorry, but it's true. I don't, I, you know, sorry, but it's true. Don't have your kids on fucking line. Don't tell me to watch your children. You watch your children. Okay, you watch your children. And yes, it does take a community, but I'm an adult and I raised my children. I'm older now. I get to do what the F I want. You, if you have children, are responsible for those children that you had, that you chose to have. Now, Candace gave away her first two children. She didn't think she could handle it. The meth addiction was too strong and so was the guy she was into the older man 42 who probably you drugged and used candace she gave away this very cute six year six month old little baby girl named candace what is with these candace people continuous thing stop calling your people candace it's like a bad curse just choose another name summer got a different name Thank God. Look what happened to her. At least the Candaces survive. Rose Bly didn't survive. You got to be Candace to survive. It's like the magical name. If you're named Candace, you don't get thrown in jail. You get away with it. So you're either Candace or Grandis. It is almost like a thing. It's almost like name your kid Candace and ain't nothing bad will ever happen to him no matter what they do. Why is this woman protected? She was the one in charge. She's the mother. And it ain't like she didn't have her own mother there too. Like as in the grandmother. Not only did Summer Wells and her three brothers, the boys, known as the boys, just a group of three boys considered one thing, one team. They don't separate them. Now the two younger brothers have been separated from the older brother the two younger are together i hope they they those kids must be traumatized out of their friggin minds and, and have hopefully formed a very close bond to save each other i don't know i mean that's some heavy shit this is heavy duty shit i mean a little girl is gone or dead or trafficked or oh i'm sure a really nice sweet loving family's taking care of little summer and she's just wearing little princess dresses and having tea parties in front of a disneyland movie with some nice grandma mm -hmm. yeah 
Let's dream. Let's cover this up. Let's pretend the sweetest little, cutest little thing ever happened. So Don, Mr. Wells, don't look too bad. Because after all, A, his last name is Wells. These are landowners, the, blue, the bourgeoisie. Well, God damn it. This is Mr. Bougie himself. With his 11 rich, lush acres of lush, beautiful land. Oh, is it too rocky? Well, why don't you buy some goddamn soil? Why don't you spare yourself just a fifth a week, a fifth a day? And then you can maybe buy some nice goddamn soil and make a beautiful, luscious, gorgeous garden. Maybe you could plant some trees. Do you think you have fruit trees or something where you could eat? Do you guys ever eat anything like McDonald's and Taco Bell? And what do you eat? Do you eat? I know you eat. Or is that just a beer gut? I don't get it. What is with these people? Okay. Let's watch the, let's watch the 50 guys looking for this little girl outside in some fucking field instead of in the goddamn house where all the mess is. There, the, there she is, the poor little thing. Where is that? Oh, it's a poor little baby. Oh, do oh. Oh, man. This got, this got me so upset. There we go. Poor baby. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious me. Mommy, I'm cold. Okay. Let me put this hot suit on you and then keep your head cold on the milk so you stay alive until we can get you to the traffickers. Yeah, I've got such a twisted imagination, don't I? Well, at least I don't drink. I'm not clouded by that. Mm-hmm. Oh, her hair grew a tiny bit since it had been shaved. There's her dinner. There's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, look, there's that phone they talk about. Mm-hmm. I think this is Hunter. I believe the voice in this video is Hunter because it sounds like Hunter. And, um... Mm. Come on, Summer. Tell us what happened. Little Summer Wells. Where are you, girl? There's the Decimus. How did you do it? I know you did this. Oh, you can get a pretty penny for that girl, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, but Candace screwed the whole thing up by by practically drowning her with her freaking TikTok videos. Your your daughter that you screwed up, almost screwed up your five-year plan. The five-year plan. There she is, a pretty little thing. Yep, her little red dress. Is that code for something? Red, red shoes, red barrel, red blood. Red, 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 red. Hmm? Yeah, right, Grandis. You're so full of shit. You're so full of fucking shit. News footage. No. You're so full of freaking, I can't even believe this woman. Grand is talking, and she seems to have a problem. Uh, recall All right, that's... You should, you know, she's good. I'm just using her visuals right now because uh, she's got good visuals. Thank you very much for your wonderful visuals. And also having 4444 four, four, four right there, I don't know, that means something. Thank you very much. Sending you subs and likes. Mm-hmm. That's an angry woman who hates other women, including her own female daughters. She doesn't like daughters because she's jealous of daughters. Yep, think about it. What you gonna say? How you gonna sound real? How you gonna be honest? Hmm? How you not gonna lie, huh? How you not gonna lie? There, lady. Oh, what are you squeezing her so close for? Trying to keep her away from the bad guys? I just do not like this woman right here, right now. You know? 
I'm supposed to feel, am I, should I feel compassionate for her because that's how she was raised? Well, for one about one thing, she wasn't raised in the deep South or I don't know where she was raised. I think it was Minnesota. I don't know. Look at that poor little thing. Hello, little candy girl. Were you raised on candy, Candace? Does Candace think that candy is food? Because maybe she thought it was food. Maybe she thought it was food because that's what her mother fed her, candy. She had a piece of candy, right? Did you just get candy all the time, little cutie? Did you ever have anything but candy and a little booze at night to knock you out so daddy could have an easier time with you? Hmm? Come on, girl. Tell us what's going on. Come on, chicky babe. Come on, chicky babe. You sacrificed yourself to the whole damn world. Didn't you? Look at this kid. So I would say it was an accident at home that they covered up that was either Candace or the boys, except that what I'm feeling is that Candace, the mother, Bly Wells, I think that that woman got so screwed up during her childhood because of her the, own, the, the way she was treated by her own mother, that she ended up hating other girls, especially ones that were prettier than her, that were taking the attention of the men around her. I think she couldn't help feeling that way. I don't think... I think it was a powerful feeling. I'm sure she wished she did not feel it. But she did feel it. I don't know what she wished. She was always medicating because she was very unhappy. What's this? Well, according to psychic Reverend Donna... Uh, Moon, Reverend Donna Serafina, she was ritually sacrificed in a horrific, staged, satanic ritual event. Look at this, okay, guys, look, come on. Look at this freaking piece of property, dude. Don't tell me you're poor. Fuck you. You don't get land like that and complain about being poor if you have a brain in your head. You just, you use your land to make money. You grow pot. You grow vegetables, at least feed your kids. You grow tomatoes. Build a greenhouse, you fucker. You're a builder. Build a fucking greenhouse. Plant some goddamn trees. Oh, am I being rude? I think it's pretty rude that a little girl that could be my own niece is missing on this friggin' piece of property. And you guys didn't think to look in the goddamn house. Now, where do all these people stay when they come here? I don't get it. Look at this huge circle. You don't think you could do something in there? Make a nice thing in here? Garden? Vegetables? Flower? You like flowers, Candace? Why don't you plant fucking flowers? Where's your flowers? I gotta have that thing covered in flower beds. That thing would be fucking covered in flower beds. Flowers, apple trees, pear trees, you know, garden, spinach, kale, whatever. Pick off, you know, let let, let your little daughter, build, grow some fucking cherry tomatoes and let little cutie pie, pick the little cutie pie cherry tomatoes and make a mess of herself and take a bunch of fucking videos. Or why not stop taking videos and live your life in real time with your children? No. No. Meth, meth screwed up the brain there. Oh, and not to mention the alcohol demons. Oh, you poor baby. Now you're, now Candace, because her name is Candace and anybody named Candace gets away with everything. Just like Grandis, Candace, her mother, Grandis, candy, candy, candy. Now the other Candace floated and she too get away with anything. I hope she's a good kid. She's got cute, she's cute, cutest kid. She looks like an adorable teenager. I hope to God she is not being abused used, but the family, I don't know. This is fucking terrifying, man. Don't tell me you're poor. Look at your fucking luxury, specially shaped, cool, teardrop fucking driveway. Look at that fun driveway.
You could have a great spread here. The fuck? Stop picking up stupid bullshit and filling up your house with all this dumb crap that you got from somebody else's backyard fucking sale and put some nice, clean mattresses and sheets and bedding down for your children. You should see the bedrooms. You should see the fucking bedrooms. You should see where the boys sleep. I, I can't even believe this whole thing. It literally shocks me because it's not like they're so poor. Give me a break. You, I'm sorry, but they own land. They're the landed gentry, okay? They're not living in tents. They're not poor. They've got land. Shut up. And they don't pay a mortgage. So double shut up, okay? What's the, what are the taxes on that 11 fucking acres? You know? How hard does he have to work? He went and spent $2,000. Aww. Are they catching up with you, babe? Oh, poor Candace. Shit, a moment of truth in front of millions of people. Shit, fucking ass. Looking ass. Wait a second. Is she talking during this? Because, hold on. Heavy boo. Then goes with them. But he says that the grandmother wasn't there. And that goes along with this story as well. So... Oh, ah, shoots, shoots, typical, typical. I want to hear that voice. I think it's Hunter's voice. I don't think it's the grandmother's voice. Has really done her homework or she's just telling the story that, that Grant has told her and it does now, match up with what we she know. she looks guilty. He don't. So this is why I'm less likely to believe... that he was involved with the murder or the sale, but it's hard to believe that he's not part of the cover-up, which would make them thick as thieves, but she is the one falling apart. The first and only time she really melts. Now there's another time that Chris McDonough says she falls apart and he doesn't show it. And it's at that watering hole. He's always trying to act like she's, got some feelings and stuff, but I don't think that, that this is what, I think this is about, she's, she, you know, getting exposed more than, um, I don't think she loved, I don't think she, I think she hated, I, I hate, I'm sorry to say this if it offends anybody, I really apologize, but I'm just going to speak my truth on my own channel. I think she hated her daughter. I'm going to put it bluntly. I think she hated her daughter. I feel bad saying it. I do. I think she absolutely despised her daughter. I am so glad I love my daughters and I don't hate my daughters. But I, I can understand almost how it can happen. Like almost like a karmic thing or a soul contract thing or a past life thing or a something, something. Maybe in a past life, Summer did something bad to her and she's getting her back. You know, maybe it's karma. Maybe Summer was bad in, in a past life. I don't know. I don't know. You know, you got to feel sorry for this woman right here, right? But that doesn't mean she didn't kill her daughter. That doesn't mean she didn't sell her daughter. That doesn't mean she doesn't know what happened to her daughter and that it truly is her fault. You were watching her, protected Candace. It, it is your fault in that way. You're the mother at home. This happened at home. So it's either aliens, she got abducted in, into another dimension, she went through a portal, she tripped and fell in his high, and it is underneath a, p a bunch of clothing right now to this day. The mattress fell on top of her, she is crushed, the sun killed her, you covered it up. Who screamed? Who screamed? What was that scream, Candace? You were there, and you left at 3.30 mofo so don't act like you didn't mr shower with the kids conditioning his five-year-old daughter all ready for the big five-year-old ha 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 but you didn't get it did you because she wouldn't let you no way were you gonna have that daughter for a whole goddamn five-year-old year or more besides she's getting ready to go to kindergarten next year wasn't this year next year and probably not even next year the year after because she could hardly talk the truth is, little drugged up, food coloring, fake sugar-based 
summer who lived on food coloring and sugar, obviously, along with peppermint candy, as if that's different. You did not want Dawn to have another day with that child. That's what I believe. I think it. I'm allowed to think it. I'm allowed to have my own opinion. This isn't about poor. This isn't about the South. Or is it? I don't think so. I think deep, deeper, deep, deeper, deepest. And this just hit me just an hour ago. It just hit me. I wasn't, I kind of felt it, but I wasn't, it just really slam dunked me to the degree that I think this woman actually has been damaged enough. And don't spin this on me, Lionel. Just stop. Eventually, you will be completely blocked, okay? Just stop it, Lionel. I mean it. Or take your chances. But this woman, I believe, hated her daughter. And this is the one and only moment where she comes to face to face with the emotions around all that happened around the hate, the plan, the accident, the fuck up, the neglect, the abuse. I'm surprised you're still standing. Candace, you're tough as fucking nails. You are tough as fucking nails, just like your daughter, who is tough as fucking nails, just like your mother, who is tough as fucking nails. And you're in the middle of it all, turned into a monster. Sorry to say that just popped out. I didn't mean to say that. I was going to say bully. I don't even know. So I think this is important because it does make a difference if there's a big lie for some reason uh, Candace wants to say that her mother was there. So the whole thing's a lie. This woman is brilliantly trying to pin it on Dawn right now. And, and I see how she's doing it. I think that she is the, the brains. Look at this little thing. Oh, she's so, a little too cute. A little too cute for grumpy old Candace who, who's got all those self, those image problems. Okay. I mean, you know, you can understand it. Look at that little brave thing holding a fish. No, well, she's probably hell on wheels. Her mother could not stand her beautiful little hell on wheels. She probably was a big pain in the ass. You know, really pretty. Who's that? There's Candace. I thought it was a boy. Candace is like a boy. Really pretty. Spitfire. Piss and vinegar. Goodbye, Summer. Slam dunk. You're not going to take another day of Donnie's time. You're not going to take another goddamn day, little Miss Blonde Hair, Blue Eyed Cutie Pie with your little piss and vinegar. Nope. Slam. Bam. This is the other reason why I think she could have punched her and just knocked her out in two seconds. She was half out of it anyway. Summer was half out of it. She was drugged. She was tired. There she is. Little Miss Monster, huh? This is how you make a monster. Drink while you're pregnant. Treat your kid like shit. Give your kid away. Put him in the system. Get him hooked on meth. I mean, did you did you have a chance? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. She went down into the playroom, mama. Yeah, right. I asked the boys. Who are the boys? the boys. What's it like to be shoved into this and never have your own identity? I know what it's like because I was shoved into the little girls. I was the little girls. Shut up, Lionel. You have no idea what it was like. I'm actually reading your mind all the time. Mm -hmm. I like your taste. Classy. I mean, truly. Aw, look at her. See, that's a pretty kid. You know, the mom couldn't stand it. I loved having beautiful children, but my, my self-esteem was intact enough that I could love and feel blessed by beautiful children. I had three absolutely gorgeous children. I was very lucky. I, was, I also worked my ass off on trying to create good energy, good karma, you know, beautiful, healthy, intelligent children. I mean, I focused on it. I ate really well. You know, I mean, I, I worked on it. I chose to be pregnant. I wanted them. I wanted to be a mom. I didn't miss a beat. 
I was all over them. I mean, I was, I wanted to be a really hands-on mother in this lifetime. I think I had a lifetime where actually I was totally neglectful. I think I was a man in another life, like during Atlantis or something. And I had a beautiful blonde wife who absolutely adored me. And I was working all the time and I was never home. And I didn't, I missed out on all the stuff with the kids. And I had a, a, a sad, lonely, angry wife. And, um... You know, I, I have this memory of like Atlantis falling and me staring at my wife, looking at me through this glass door, just like wishing that I had come home or had gotten out of there. She came to get me and I, I'm just like so obs obsessed with my work, obsessed that I could not, I knew I had been a bad father. I knew I had been a bad husband. I had been obsessed with work. I was a scientist. That's all I cared about, you know? Some people shouldn't have been parents. So in this lifetime, I was like all over my parenting role. That's all I cared about, being a mom, being the best mom I could be and using all my old soul wisdom to be the best mom and see what I could do. Also help the earth do the mission, which we will never forget that we're doing the mission now that we remember the mission, right? Yeah. For the children. We, we say no to selling our children, right? We say, we object to any more abusing of our human children. That's what we say. We say, thank you, Summer Wells, for being tortured and being such a damn trooper and keeping your chin up and pushing through. What is, was honest to God, I think five years of neglect and abuse. I think living with a mother who actually hated you. I think she hated you. I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me, Jimmy. I know you think she loves her because of the TikTok videos. I think the TikTok videos was her being neglectful, using her daughter. I don't think she loved this kid. I don't think so. Because I don't think, I don't think you could do what you did. Now, she probably was a pain in the neck. Now, that is another thing I can understand. You can, you, if your kid, if you don't have any control over your kids and they don't love you and you don't love them and you're just doing it to get through and try to get your next drugs and you're just doing it. Maybe she loved her kids. Maybe she loved her boys. I don't, I think she hated Summer. Maybe she loved Summer, okay? But maybe she also hated Summer. Like she loved her and hated her. Look, it happens. There's a lot of women who would understand this, including Leslie, their friend, Allie, their friend, the grandmother. They all understand this. The women, there's a jealousy in women, okay? It's built into our DNA. It's something we have to deal with. Thank God I was never jealous of a child. You know, I was jealous of other women with a man that I was, you know, in love with. And, and if he was into other women, of course, I was jealous out of my fucking mind. I'm not really designed to be like one of many wives. I'm a Leo, five planets in Leo. I'm all like, I'm the empress, be all about me. I'm all about you, you be all about me. Let's just be a team, no other women. Except now that I'm older, I'm gonna be like, the prostitutes are in the other room with the chips and dip. Just, <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna be like, I don't know, who knows? This is a cute kid, you know? That's a real, look at the brightness in her eyes and the intelligence. I mean, she's just too freaking cute. Her mom could, I, I feel bad for her mother having to feel those feelings. I'm sure it was an absolute nightmare to have a child you didn't, that you hated. It's not, she's not the only mother who did not love her child, okay? This is my opinion. After months and months and months of studying this case the, and what we have available, including the grandmother, Oh, little Summer. And I think that Candace screwed up the sale so that they didn't even get the money. I think they got less money because she was sick and they decided they had to they had to do the ritual instead. She was still alive. I think the whole thing's horrible. My heart sunk. Oh, your heart sunk, motherfucker. You knew she was abducted? Excuse me, motherfucker. What the fuck? Okay. Are you confessing? Look. Oh, look at Daddy-O. I'm so bitter at this guy I don't even know because he looks like he's my fucking bloodline. He's got the Polish fucking blood. So that's my, my little niece there. 
cousin fucker. My heart sunk. You know why your heart sunk, Dawn? Because you knew she was murdered. Jesus Christ. That's why your heart sunk. Not only was your little sex toy gone, but she was fucking murdered in a horrible way. I believe that. Or it doesn't matter. <sighs> yeah, I need to cry. I need to fucking cry. Oh, shit. <laughs> Two minutes, huh? Oh, yeah, well, you can't count any other time except for that. You're not good with time except for that, right, Candace? Oh, did you tell your mom you have to go back in with the kids? The kids are always inside. Are they in or out? Wait, what about the dungeon? What about that dungeon that you live, that you have them live in? Wait, do you like the dungeon? Is that what Grandis raised you in a dungeon? Were you raised in a dungeon that you like that dungeon style? Maybe this is how she was raised, dungeon style. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, my mom with the knee brace, mom in the hospital, mom in the ER, the old grandma with the prescription, yep. I know how they drip that shit in it to me. Oh, sympathy, 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 sympathy. Mm-hmm. That old broad is tough as nails. You don't need the goddamn nothing. And what was that prescription? Was that to drug poor little... Mm-hmm. Here she goes. The one moment of truth. The only friggin' moment she cried about this. She didn't cry the night she left, died, or the night she was sold, stolen or sold or whatever. <sighs> Can do. Can dus. And dus. Anu. Can, canine, canine, cannabis, candus. That's a very Anunnaki name. Sudnak, Sudnak, backwards. Sudnak sounds Egyptian. Princess Sudnak, Kantanahabakatandu. Candace, yeah, that's all Anunnaki protected, except look at you walking. Look at you getting away with it. With your brand new YouTube channel and Benny Keys all over you, huh? Are you guys fighting now, huh? Did he drag you along, string you along, and now he's now he's pulling back so he doesn't look like he's robbing Dawn's wife Candace. Can do, and do, and do, Anu. Hmm. Yep, yeah, all prettied up there. Mmm. There's the buddy O's. Mm-hmm. Closey, closey, close, close. Mm-hmm. Someone close took our kid. Someone close. Who is close? Oh, yeah, the old house. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is the fixed-up version. You think she put a dime into her daughter? That's the big... This is the fancy version. Where's the bed? Oh, no. She sleeps with Dawn. Right up close next to his big schlong. All boozed up, ready to go for nappy, nappy nighttime, Donny boy, right? I can't help it. I can't help it. Oh, son of a bitch. Ooh, there's the prize. Mmm, there's the resentful one. Mmm, lost your prize. Mm-hmm. Oh, but don't, let's not forget about this one. And the cute little prize. <sighs> you poor little thing. Did you know what was coming? Did you ever act badly in a past life? Cutie little cutie pie. Because you sure woke up a lot of people to something bad. Mm-hmm. How you getting away with this, Grandis? What you gonna do next? Where you gonna go? Trying to pretend you're innocent? Trying to pretend you don't know anything? Mm-hmm. Can't get much cuter than that. Nope. 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 That's a pretty cute kid. Even all covered with chocolate sauce. Mm. Not as cute as you, though, Candace, huh? Nope. Can hardly think. God damn it. How are you going to get through this fucking interview, man? 
Wait till it's over. Holy shit. Flowers. Cactus or flowers? Cactus or flowers? Have you ever planted a flower in your whole damn life? Have you ever planted a flower in your whole damn life? Have you ever had a fresh vegetable? I mean, not everybody knows what a fresh vegetable really is. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Some people think ketchup is a vegetable. You know, I, I it happens. You know, my mother taught me what a fresh vegetable was. That's the only reason I know. She had a garden every damn day. All she did was work in the garden every damn day and provide fresh made tomato sauce for her family. You know, this is what I thought you were supposed to do. So, you know, living on Skittles is not what my mommy taught me. My mommy taught me not to not live on candy. In fact, she taught me to read the ingredients. What did you teach your kids, Grandis? But then again, who were you raised by? Wait, what was your mother feeding you? Because Skittles weren't around in, you know, the 1900s or, you know what I mean? So what was Grandis raised on? Well, you were raised on Skittles. And look what happened to you, baby. This is what happens to you when you're raised on Skittles and you got mommy's got Skittle brains. Yeah, mommy's got Skittle brains and she didn't know what to do. So you just, you just took a hit. Poor little baby. Jeez. Anyway, I'll, I'll make more. Thanks, guys. Pray for this kid, you know.